Most accurate forecast with Thomas Keyboy. Weather rates certified 11 years in a row. Good afternoon. You Good afternoon, Utah, and happy Friday. It might be May 20th, but it feels more like March 20th out there. And the culprit is an upper level low pressure that's come in from our north. Unfortunately, our friends in Colorado are hogging most of the moisture, and Denver is going to be seeing a snowstorm here as we go through today. Meanwhile, for us, we're going to see scattered wet weather, but that's going to be the key word there. It's going to be scattered in nature. There will be some thunderstorm potential as we go from this afternoon to the evening, while in southern Utah, still going to be another windy day, and we're going to be looking at a high fire risk continuing, even though our temperature will be cooler compared to what we found yesterday. But let's go ahead and start off with what we're finding on the radar currently in northern Utah, where we're seeing scattered mountain snow showers. And we've seen a little bit of light rain down in our valleys, but most of the rain has been favoring the benches, kind of favoring the higher terrain. But as we get through this afternoon and we start to warm things up a little bit more, a little bit better of a chance that we're going to see some rain getting down to our valley floors. And for today, the northern half of the state has that chance for some thunderstorms and it stretches as far east as the Uinta Basin. So if you have any plans for this afternoon in northern Utah, just keep your eyes to the skies just in case. Here's an excellent view from Lake Mountain overlooking the Utah Valley. You can kind of see some of that moisture hugging the benches, especially over towards Provo Canyon on the eastern side of Timpanogos. And then as you look towards the Salt Lake Valley, we do have a little bit of a light shower very close to the cottonwoods as well. But otherwise, you're looking at a partly cloudy sky on what is a beautiful day, albeit a chilly one. And then in Monument Valley in southern Utah, we've been seeing blowing dust here and there all morning, and we're going to see more blowing dust in southern Utah along with that fire risk. But winds, they're mainly out of the north at this point, anywhere gusting between 15 and 30 miles per hour. And it's definitely on the breezy side down in southern Utah. Got a wind gust of 32 miles per hour in Milford, and we've been seeing wind gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour in St. George. Right now, it's probably the lightest I've seen the winds all morning and into this afternoon. But those red flag warnings from Washington County over to San Juan County, those continue through 9 o'clock this evening as we're going to see wind sustained between 15 and 30 miles per hour, gusts upwards of 45 miles per hour, and relative humidity values. 10 to 15 percent, so very low humidity down in southern Utah. Let's begin the future cast 2 o'clock this afternoon, highlighting northern Utah here. And as we go from this afternoon, into the early stretch of the evening. We're going to see more on and off showers, likely going to be quick hitters, so they're going to be moving at a pretty good clip throughout this afternoon. And that best chance really happening during the heart of the afternoon before those before the chance for showers and thunderstorms really begins to dwindle as we go into this evening as we lose that daytime heating and then by the overnight mostly quiet conditions. There's going to be some lingering moisture for our Saturday, but for our Saturday, any moisture is likely going to favor the high terrains. Daytime high is going to be more than 10 degrees below average across the board, mid to upper 50s along the Wasatch Front and even St. George might not even make it to 80 degrees. It's going to be a cool day for the southwest desert and tonight going to be turning chilly in Salt Lake City with an overnight low of 38 degrees while St. George dropping to 50. So even in St. George tonight going to be sweater weather while it's going to be jacket weather along the Wasatch Front and for the Wasatch back Bear Lake and the Bear River Valley along with the San Pete Valley got another hard freeze warning going into effect tonight. We have a freeze warning for the Uinta Basin could see freezing temperatures once again in Cache Valley. So gardeners take note make sure that you protect those sensitive plants as we go into tonight and even some patch for also be a possibility along the Wasatch Front, but, but for St. George, we get blowing dust with a daytime high of 79. We will see gradual warming throughout this weekend. We'll be close to 90 degrees by Monday. Then along the Wasatch Front, we'll hold on to that chance through the rest of the afternoon into the evening. That chance will dwindle into tonight, dropping to 38 degrees. Middle 60s for our Saturday, near 70 degrees for Sunday into Monday, but temperatures will start to warm up even more going into the middle of next week.